Hi, my name's Vicki, and um, this is one one week post-op from my surgery. I had my surgery last Tuesday, September the 13th, and I just wanted to kind of give a week follow-up. <clears throat> so, previously I'd said that he was going to do a partial tear, and it ended up being a complete tear. He did not have to do my bicep tendonesis. Um, it, it did not warrant uh, surgery, thank goodness. But my supraspinatus, I believe it was, did have a complete tear. So that was repaired. And I had a nerve block. Um, and I would highly recommend that. That lasted until like um, my surgery was Tuesday probably around one o'clock or so and that lasted until Wednesday probably about 5 30 when I started feeling some discomfort um, he has me on Percocet and it's one to two tablets every six hours and I'm really starting to feel it more um, probably around uh, every four hours when I feel like I need it and I'm taking I was taking a half a tablet because of Of course of the nerve block. I didn't feel like I had as much pain But as that has worn off I'm taking one tablet sometimes one and a half tablet then on um, Friday I started physical therapy um, And that was pretty painful that was the first time it's been moved and um, she done some took the bandages off and I have I guess this shirt's too tight but I have four incisions just a little small there's two stitches um, for each each cut um, but she done some passive range of motion and I'm not gonna lie <laughs> it wasn't very pleasant so I go back Thursday. Since then, I have tried to do um, some shoulder shrugs and some scapula squeezes. I can't really do that too well yet. And some pendulums. And that's where you're standing up, you take the sling off, and really try to let it relax and rotate. Um, I'm not very good at it yet, but um, I am trying to do that. Um, the sleeping... Actually, for me, I I had tried to sleep in the recliner, but I cannot get comfortable in a recliner. So, um, let me show you this first. This here is a Kohler pack, and I have used this a lot. You do use a lot of, of ice with it, but it has been a lifesaver. And... Right after surgery, I was using it pretty much all the time. And if you can have somebody find one for you or donate it to you, definitely want to use that. If you don't, um, a good cheap ice pack is to do a gallon freezer Ziploc bag and do like a one to three ratio of rubbing alcohol and water. The rubbing alcohol keeps it from freezing solid, so it's kind of slushy, and um, that works really well. The other thing that I have used that makes wonderful for me is this wedge. Um, it's, it's pretty thick here, and I can lay that down on the couch and put another pillow on top of that. And for me, that has been the most comfortable for sleeping. Um, and I can actually get some pretty good rest. But if I was just sleeping here in the recliner, I, I don't think I'd be getting any sleep at all. Um, so that in the Kohler pack has really been um, wonderful for me. So I go back uh, Thursday for my second therapy appointment. And we'll see how that goes. I'm going one time a week for right now. And um, 
it's it's been pretty painful um, but hopefully as it goes along I start um, doing better and getting my motion and everything back so um, for now um, I survived one week and I'll get back with you next week and we'll see how it's going from there okay thanks